welcome back to my channel. Monica Paya is here. I am a hormone and functional health coach and I am here to give you all the information on how to feel your best and look your best. All right, so someone left me a question basically telling me that I went on a trip, I've been eating like crap, but my weight is actually down. How is this possible? The truth is that yeah, you've lost weight, but it's not necessarily fat. What happens is that you're not training, so your muscles are not being filled with water, so you're just losing that weight, but it's not necessarily the fat, which is what we want to lose. Since you weren't training, your muscles don't have the glycogen, glycogen storage is down and you haven't induced inflammation, which is why you see that your weight on the scale is down. Now, it's not necessarily that you've lost fat, it's just that your weight is down. That happened to me, I went to Europe and I was eating McDonald's. Um, because I in a lot of the places I didn't really like what they had. And so I just was like frustrated and I just said, I'm gonna go to McDonald's or Burger King. I know for sure that I'm gonna like that. It's not the best choice, but this is a lifestyle. Sometimes you just gotta balance life. I was doing a lot of walking. However, I wasn't training a lot. And I ended up coming back and I had lost like eight pounds. But as soon as I went back to my regular schedule, went back to training, that weight on the scale went up. And a lot of people would freak out and be like, oh my gosh, I'm getting so fat. That just means that your muscles are being filled with water again from the glycogen storage, from actually working out, and you're causing inflammation from working out. So that is totally normal. It does not necessarily mean that you have gained fat. Which is why, as a coach, I think it is so important to not be so focused on the weight and the scale because it does not necessarily tell you very much about what is going on inside you. Now, biomarkers, checking your insulin levels, checking your blood pressure, other things, your inches, measuring yourself, that is a pure indication on what's going on inside. A weight, not necessarily. You could have slept wrong and you gain weight. You could have had more water and you gain weight. You could have not pooped and you gain weight. So that's why it's the, the weight on the scale. Yes, it's a good factor to kind of, you know, see where things are at, but it is not the only and it is not the best factor in order to take care of everything um, when it comes to your health and weight loss. Thank you so much for the questions. Don't forget, leave them down below and I'm here to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.